Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. This is going to be a quick video, but today I'm going to be planting these calla lilies into this bulb crate. Now this is a bulb crate that I previously had for tulips uh, when I had a shipment of tulips, but I'm going to be actually planting calla lilies in it this year. I've just filled it up halfway with soil. The entire depth is about eight inches deep. And I'm spacing these calla lily bulbs equidistant to each other in this crate. Now the main reason I am going to be trying growing calla lily bulbs in crates this year is that A number one, I don't have the room in my garden and I might be leaving my garden soon for a different place and I want to be able to take these with me uh, since they will be growing and in bloom in midsummer. And I always have trouble with calla lilies keeping the weeds out. It seems like the grass always seems to get in there and take over and everything. So by planting in a bulb crate, that quickly eliminates the issue of grass and weeds and things like that. So I thought that this would be a very good experiment to do. So basically I am arranging these a little bit closer than would be recommended. These are, have about maybe a two to two and a half inch spacing here in my crate. I think I ended up planting something like 20 bulbs in the crate in total. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the measurements of the crate. If you're unfamiliar with planting calla lily bulbs, um, they're not really bulbs. I believe they are actually technically rhizomes. Um, either way, they have a top and the bottom. When you look at the rhizome, you can quickly identify the top of it by looking for little kind of pointed growth tips. Um, they have kind of like eyes almost, I would call them. You can see usually there's a little bit of new growth starting to poke up already by the time you get these. Um, if not, like I said, you can look for like a circular section and that's usually a good indicator. Some of them all will have, some rhizomes will have roots attached to the bottom. Um, but either way, even if you plant them upside down, most plants will try to correctly orient themselves uh, so that they are pointing the correct direction. All I'm going to do once I got these um, kind of situated where I want them, I'm just going to add some more potting soil. This is just a regular potting mix for potted plants that I'm using here. And I'm going to add about an inch to two inches of potting soil on top of these calla lilies and uh, just really firm that down very well to make sure, you know, everything's in place, stays in place. And then I'm going to place this into a very nice sunny spot, receives full sun in my garden. Um, ideally, you can do this after all chance of frost has passed. I'm doing it a little sooner simply because I am going to be placing this tray into an unheated low tunnel. Placing this into an unheated low tunnel is going to allow me to get uh, at least a few weeks head start on growth and probably get blooms a few weeks sooner so it should work out very well. Um, once all the soil was in there and I had it placed where I wanted in the garden, I just gave this whole thing a very, very good watering. Um, a lot of sources suggest that you don't water calla lily bulbs um, immediately after planting, but I think I'm going to make an exception since this is in a crate. Um, that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I'm not sure if it was. I know this was a quick one, but I just wanted to fill y'all in on what I'm doing in the garden, and I'll talk to y'all later. I hope you're having a really great day. Bye!